This will make your hair stand on end. It's the Gemini Series Round 2 at Lakeside, sponsored by Islander Quality Inns. And there is a field, I don't know, it's, the field has run off the end of the page. I can't count how many <laughs> starters there are, but it's a big field, let me assure you. And this is how the top dozen have qualified. On pole position, we've got Phil Crompton. No relation. Michael Preston shares the front row of the grid with him. Second row, Jeff Gagan and uh, Kevin Heffernan. The third row, Terry Courtley and Michael Olsen. On the fourth row, Kim Berger and Lyndon Titmarsh. The next row, David Gross and Gary Courtley, John Novak and Troy Dunstan. And that's just the top dozen. And there's a field of one, two, three, two, three, two. I can't count that far, but it looks like 25. A big, big field. So there'll be plenty of action, plenty of opportunity for these guys to, uh, to show off their talents. Always very, very close racing in this series. Gemini's had their first gallop last week in Sydney's or uh, Oran Park suspension in New South Wales and they were really terrific and we saw them running in the reverse direction and Crompton and the boys down there got stuck into it. Is he any relation by the way? No he's not. He's on the front row he should be. Oh. <laughs> be foreign to you lad. <laughs> Alrighty so Phil Crompton has pole position with a 110.5. Michael Preston the same time yesterday so we should have a uh, a good scrap between the uh, the front row lads. While there's a moment too, Mike, I guess we ought to repeat the news for the touring car fans. The race coming up later that John Bauer is out, will not be running in today's race, despite the fact that he qualified so well. Uh, the other uh, Volvo uh, has blown up and not running, and Robbie Francovic, the series leader, will run in John Bauer's car and will start from the rear of the grid in today's round of the Touring Car Championship. The first three of these Geminis all qualified at a time of 110.5 as they're now given the 30-second board prior to the start. Eight laps the journey, 2.4 kilometres, an enormous field of cars. Apart from your top 25, Wilco, there's another four or five reserves in there. Any man's guess as to how you pick a winner in this bunch? Getting ready for the start. Ten seconds to go. And they get away, but Piston gets away sideways on the line, but he's been outgunned by Phil Crompton by the look of it. Preston drops into second spot. Jeff Gadgen looking for third, but he's being passed here by Kevin Heffernan as they race down to the Albion Volvo right-hander traffic congestion. Let's see if they all get through here okay. With the big rib on the starting line, they ribbed many hard, they pull them along by the fan. Oops, there's one out. Bit of rally cross. Didn't do anyone any harm, he said. Dust here too, as they head down now towards the uh, the Dunlop Bridge. Just look at the section of the crowd and the infield here at uh, Lakeside International Raceway beneath the bridge. The left hand run to Valvoline Corner. Michael Preston in car number seven, chasing Phil Crompton. Hungry corner. Gargan up into third place with plenty of elbow out. A unique one make stakes for Queensland, the little Geminis. Through 4X corner, and they work the front straight now. For one lap completed, seven remain in this Islander Quality Inns Gemini series. Round two here this afternoon. Preston trying to make up for that poor start. Still in second. That's right, Mike. Just eight laps of the uh, 2.4 kilometre circuit here at Lakeside. So there should be nothing in it as there was only 0.4 of a second between the top six qualifiers on the grid. And uh, as Neil said earlier, there was uh, nothing separating the top three on the grid with the front of getting the number one spot and holding it down as they go through the first lap. And uh, a cheer from uh, Mr. Crompton beside me. Back in 23rd position on the grid for qualifying was a girl, Debbie Dawson. Debbie's doing Lakeside this weekend and uh, doing a fine job at the moment. They come down to Valvoline Corner. Up now to Motocraft Hill. 61 is our race leader, Phil Crompton. Out of that turn and now the roller coaster run down to uh, Castrol. See what he's opened uh, a good gap, driving very, very comfortably. Throwing a few rocks at the, uh, the fellow competitors. But they're broken off in uh, two bunches now. There's a yellow flag out on pit straight here at the moment. You can see the drivers acknowledging that flag. It must be up at the carousel. And someone's just gone off the circuit there. Well, apparently a car has rolled. There it is on the left-hand side of screen. Was that 42? 
We'll catch it next time around. Think it may have been 62, Richard Butcher. So Rick Butcher is out of this race after uh, being carved up on the approach to the carousel. 61 is our race leader, Phil Crompton. Started to spread themselves out though. And there's the gap from Crompton back to Michael Preston. Preston's car very nicely turned out. Gagan in third spot being very hard pressed. That uh, battle for third is really uh, hotting up. Car 59 pushing him very hard as uh, Kevin Heffernan who came off the second row of the grid and got shuffled back a little. And uh, Terry Courtley also in that group. Terry's the lap record holder here in a Formula V car, so he's done some laps of the late side, lakeside circuit. And I think they're still acknowledging the flag. Yes, they are down the straight at the moment. There doesn't appear to be any immediate danger. It's just to warn competitors that a car is to the left-hand side of the circuit. Speaking of lap records, Neil, 10.1 uh, the lap record for the Geminis, which was uh, 0.4 quicker than uh, the fastest of the qualifiers for this race. Uh, that stands to the uh, to B Bailey in the Gemini and uh, this race last year. It's 51 going through, Jeff Gadgen. The beauty of this class much like uh, many of those that are now very popular in Australia, is the closeness of the cars and the specifications of them. The series only open to these older series Holden Geminis. They can use either the two-door coupe model or the four-door uh, four version. And again, it really comes down to a test of driver skill and the fellow that can best assemble a good car. So Crompton still leads as they come across the start-finish line area. Preston in second. So Preston's getting a little closer too. Carrying number seven on his car. For me, a colour ring around the number. That's right, starting to make his move is Michael Preston, but nevertheless, they still stand as the way they started on the grid a couple of laps ago. Crompton from Preston, Gadgen, Heffernan, and Courtley in the series up here in Queensland for this Island Equality Inn series. Gadgen is the leader and from uh, Michael Preston in second place now challenging for the lead and Kevin Heffernan has uh, third position. So a battle here not only on for today's heat but also the series overall. In fact I think the last time that uh, we were up here we had a very good Gemini race and for as long as I can recall coming to Queensland this class has been strong and well represented. Gee, it's the biggest entry I've seen in a race in Australia for a long while. That comes by virtue of the fact, I guess, they just don't have to spend mega bucks to go motor racing. And they're probably enjoying every uh, lap they do. They got an invite to go to Oran Park in Sydney last weekend. They uh, really turned on a good yep. show down there. Here's Heffernan starting to uh, look at an inside pass here on uh, Gagan. Number 59. In the meantime, uh, Michael Preston continues his challenge for the uh, for the race lead on Phil Crompton. These cars all use the same type of rubber there at Kelly Springfield radial tyre. So there's no advantage with anybody shelving out great wads of money for very special or trick tyres. They all have identical rubber. That also helps to keep these cars together and poor old Michael Preston at the moment just gets close enough to make a move but can't quite get it together to pull out from behind that slipstream and if anything I think Gargan's now getting right into things here at the moment and could split these two. Yes he's picked up a lot of ground in the last uh, half lap of this race. They come down the hill to 4x. Preston getting closer all the time on uh, Phil Crompton. Whether or not he's got enough uh, sting to be able to pull out and pass. We'll have to wait and see. Thinking about it now though he comes down on the inside and the two of them race for the left hand kick and Preston will go through or will he keep me in mind that will uh, that'll give Crompton the run for the next turn on the uh, right so no matter what poor Michael Preston does Phil Crompton's been able to uh, to fight off the challenge here he goes again he made the right move Preston and he's uh, going to stick right on his hammer here oh. as they go over the back and that's not the place to do it no. 
one place he's going to get by, and that's down the bottom of the main straight where we saw him. The boys couldn't help but lean on one another towards the end. Coming around this time to get the last lap forward. Well, it's got to happen now, hasn't it? Well, Preston, if he's going to make a run, I don't think he's close enough this time as they go across the line. His only chance is to be able to get down the inside. Aha, now this could be the right formula. Oh. Pretty though, the road's blocked in front of him by the leader. He was thinking about it though. And maybe that has given uh, Phil Crompton just the break that he needs to get away from Preston's last lap challenge. Yes, if anything, he did manage to get an extra half length or so out of that manoeuvre. Sort of get a feeling it might happen on the run down to Hungary Corner if he can get close enough. Well, there'll be some desperate braking from here on in. Two applications. One oh, of them is here. Here comes Lagan. No. Falls back in again. Preservation. Phil Crompton uh, getting out onto the edge a little. But has just managed to consolidate that lead. And unless he makes a really big blue towards the end, he's going to hold on. I think Preston may survive as well. It's third place in question with Heaven and making a last minute lunge. They're coming out on the run down to the chequered flag. And in fact, it's going to be Phil Crompton who takes the flag. Second spot's going to go to Preston, third place to Gagan, and Heffernan will probably pick up fourth. An interesting race. It got better as the race went on. Another couple of laps, who knows? Maybe Preston might be able to pull off a win. So much for the quality, quality Islander ends Gemini Series round two. The win goes to Phil Crompton, second spot goes to Preston, and third spot to Gagan.